What's up, modern steaders? It's a perfect day to get the products I was talking about. There's a thunderstorm blowing in right now, so we gotta be inside anyways. Let's take a look and see what we got. We have two different boxes for incubators. What Jason told me from Wright Farm Products, which is Coops and More, I'll leave their website. He's given the modern steaders a 10% discount for the year. The discount code is gonna be Lumna Acres. I'm gonna leave the link to Jason's website and to the promo code down in the descriptions below. A big thank you, Jason, from me and all the modern steaders. This is awesome. All right, so this first one right here, it's the Model 3600 Complete Digital Incubator Kit. Let's open it up and see what it comes with. We'll get to the other box later on. I'm pretty excited about this incubator because the other ones we have aren't working. We're on our second batch of Icelandic eggs, day 20. No chirping, no eggs crack, no nothing. It's, they're supposed to hatch by day 21, and you should hear something by now. All right, let's open this up and see what we got. So this one's got the fan and the heating element on the top. I'm liking that because the incubators we have right now, they're on the bot. All this is on the bottom. So when the chicks hatch, all that stuff falls down on the fan and heats up and gets flung all over the place. And it makes a mess. It's not good. So I'm already seeing that design and I like that. Let's see what else we got in here. Directions. We got the cord. And we got an egg candle and flashlight. That's pretty cool. No batteries, so we're gonna have to get three AAA batteries for that. And it comes with a little lanyard. Olivia's gonna love this thing. All right, I'll set the directions with the, the light and the cord. Take this right out of the box. Set this up over here. Told you it was raining. And it's raining. Here's the turner. This one. Now I'm just I'm not a professional incubator guy or anything. I'm just going by the last incubators we had. The other incubator we had. The turning trays, I'll go grab one and show you. They weren't like this. This is all together and easy in and out. That's awesome. I really like that, uh, that design. We'll plug that into the cover. Let me go get you my other incubator turners and show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's the incubator turners from the other incubator we have in the basement. They only have, are connected on one end. This end, you gotta line them up when you take them in and out. Look how flimsy that is. Mm -hmm. So. These ones have lights built into them, but they don't work. So, the one I ordered was super fancy looking. That don't always mean anything. So this is just a pain. Taking them out's not too bad, but lining them back up to get them in, in this notch, because it's all down below. This is gonna be much easier. I'm already liking this design. So what I'm thinking is, is you plug the turner in to here. And then just bada boom bada bing. And then you have some holes. But the side is see-through. So you can still see in here really well. Got some holes in there. Alright, I'm trying to read the instructions to figure out everything I need to know before I use this thing. And it's talking about water channels. Let's just take everything off and take a look in here and see what they have for water channels. Okay, that's pretty cool. So here's this grate. So the chickens, they're not going to fall through and get wet with water. I like that. You got your X's in here to fill with water. And right here you have a hole. Oh, how good you can see it. See, right here you're going to have a hole. You can fill it with water. 
I like that. And right here, you can poke something through there. Alright, we just had a comment come across the YouTube from a modern stetter, Maxi Harden commented, what is your last name's country of origin, please? I've had a couple of people ask me that and I haven't replied because it's there's a story to it and you really can't reply back just to a comment. So let's address that right now. So my last name's Lumna, like Lumna Acres, L-U-M-N-A-H. My relatives were coming over from the Canadian border. They were French Canadian and their last name was Lamelin. You don't know how you spell that. And they didn't either when they came across the border. They couldn't read or write it, is what I'm assuming. So when they came to the border agents, they asked what their name was. And they said Lamelin. Well, the border agent spelled it out as Lumna, L-U-M-N-A-H. Nobody can pronounce that name right when they see it, Lumna. It's kind of funny because it, the way it looks is how it sounds, Lumna. And that's how the border agents came up with it. So anybody in the United States, I've been told, with the last name Lumna is related to me somehow. It's just a weird fact. So thanks, Maxie. Probably put it to use tonight, so hopefully later on in the video, we'll be putting some eggs in this. Let's open up the other box. I have no idea what's in there. Let's go find out. All right, we're gonna take a quick little intermission from opening the other box. I know, but we do all this for the food, like I told you guys, and guess what? That means we gotta eat real food, so I gotta get cooking. Once I saw the time, I went, oh. What we did is we cooked a chicken the other night just to have it for during the week. You guys wanna see a fancy little pasture-raised chicken? with its legs tucked into a skin flap to hold it, making it look so pretty, go check out our Instagram account, Lumna Acres. On Monday, I posted a picture of that, so go check it out. Our Instagram account is Lumna Acres. Here they are. Oh, that's some uh, pretty close thunder and lightning. Woo. There it is. We gotta have our chicken bowl for all this food scraps. Some people ask, how come I'm the one doing the cooking? Guess what? We get hangry if we don't eat. Yep. So I'm the first one home from work, so I get to cook when I'm the first one home. When Gina's home, Gina gets to cook. Cause guess what? Neither of us like being hangry. And we can both get pretty hangry and we don't want to grab a Snickers to satisfy. We want to grab some real food. So that's why we gotta cook. How many of you guys get hangry? You know what I'm talking about. Unleashing that hangry beast. Oh, I don't like it when I get hangry. But we find the more whole foods we eat, the less hangry we get. We really don't get hangry like we used to. But we do like to eat on a schedule. I'm just gonna cut that nasty spot out. That's just gross. We're just not going to use that part of the potato. We're going to cut it there. We're going to cut it. Get, we're going to get rid of most of that potato. So now, if you don't have enough time to cook potatoes, you think they take too long, cut them into smaller pieces. They cook up faster. The other thing is when you're cooking real food, cook extra. And then you can Put it in the fridge, have it for leftovers, should last a week. You can always freeze it and you can have it for months and just take it out when you need it. We do that with meatballs, we do that with lasagna, with stews. We had a poor man stew the other night, which is made with hamburger instead of stew meat. And we froze half of it after we cook it. Look, I did my dishes. Or me and Gina did the dishes. I can't take all the credit. All right, now let's get back to the unboxing. Thanks, FedEx. Man, take care of your packages, FedEx. It's covered in dirt, man. Don't weigh that much. Alright. 
there we go. Yep. We got some cones. Oh wow, quail cones. They're my tiny. Phantoms and small breeds. Medium standard chicken. That's about the size you're gonna need. Maybe a little bit bigger for the Cornish. Let's see. Big chicken, small turkeys. Right here. This is the one we bought last year for our turkeys. Extra standard turkey, extra large standard turkey. It worked pretty good, but we could have used a bigger one. Ready? This is the one we got. We bought Wright's Farms last year. You wanna see the next one? Yep, we had 54 pound turkeys. We could have used this one. I didn't realize they had a, the one this big. Maybe it's new. Awesome. But we didn't do turkeys this year. Maybe next year we'll do them again. Then we got a whole bunch of bags. Two quill or chicken pieces. So these are small bags. These are the bags that you gotta dunk in hot water and they gotta shrink. We use them and they work awesome. So we got small chickens. All right, we have one more box. Let's see what's in this one. There's some crazy stuff in here. It's getting up close. All right, looks like an egg basket. Oh, we got two different egg baskets. We got a big egg basket, which would be nice to have in the house. You can put your eggs or anything in this really. This will be pretty decorative. I bet you Gina will love it. Let's go put it over here. You think Gina will like it just looking on, looking at it on the countertop? That looks pretty, don't it? I think she'll like that. And right, we got a little egg basket. This we'll use daily for collecting our eggs. to say and they also sell egg cartons so Jason sent me a three and a half page letter thanks Jason the letter is awesome I'm not gonna read it all to you guys but just a couple of points on here Jason started coops and more in his two-car garage with his buddy Jeremy. They were both laid off from work and he decided to build chicken coops and sell them on eBay. And ever since then, his business has taken off and he hasn't been able to keep up. That's awesome, Jason. Hopefully one day, we'll be in the same boat as you. Once he bought his first 12 chickens, he couldn't believe how expensive it was. That's what gave him the idea of starting Wright's Farm products, is he wanted to be able to make affordable products the average consumer. So that's the whole deal with Coops and More and Wright Farm products. If you go to his website, Coops and More, you can see all the stuff from Coops and More and Wright Farm products. He has a lot of stuff on there and he has more and more coming out. He's working on a lot of stuff here. One of the things he said he's working on is he's working on poultry netting and solar chargers for a lot less price than all the other ones out there. So we'll have to wait and see what all the products you have coming out, Jason. We're pretty excited. If you wanna do me a favor, go on over to Coops and More's website, leave them a message, and just tell them hi from another fellow modern steader. I'm gonna leave the links to the website down below. Hi. Boy, this was some good chicken. Sure was. Gina already ate all hers. Oh, if you wanna see how pretty it was, I'm telling you, go on our Instagram account. But we're gonna finish dinner, then we're gonna get some eggs in the incubator. Oh, while well, I'm thinking of that, let's give Olivia and Gina one of their gifts. We've got Olivia's a little girl basket, and we've got Mama a mama basket. Perfect. I love it. Now I can collect eggs and tomatoes in it. Awesome. Imagine how many zucchinis we can put in that. He gave us another basket. I think we're gonna need that one for zucchinis too. Let me show what you hold you on. Another basket? We've got another yeah, one. Yeah, freaking big one. It's for eggs, but we might need it for all the zucchini and summer squash. Yeah. And it's kind of cool because it easily... Oh, store it. 
That's what I said when I took it out. I'm like, oh, look, well, this can be decorative. We'll put it out on the island. It looks nice in our house. Yeah. All right, so hopefully third time will be the charm. Let's try a third batch of Icelandic eggs. Put this over like the mirror. These are like easier to hold the eggs in too. Yeah. Do 36 chicken eggs or you could do 144 quail eggs. Right. Oh God, is it, it's you like put four, four oh, yeah. in each hole because cool. the quill eggs are that so much smaller. Is that a big market? I think there's a decent market in some areas for quail. Remember one guy we talked to a mass that did it. He said he did it. He did really well, and it was hunters that bought them, so they wouldn't go home at the end of the day without bringing home a bird to their wife. I wonder. Should I put the other eggs on that side? Wait. I wonder if you could like. Put like quail eggs in with a regular egg. I don't know. They probably don't have the same days. Yeah, I don't know how long they take to hatch out. Put the rest on that side. Did you already put water in? Yep. Where's the water? Yeah, there's X grooves down here that you fill with water, and there's holes. So do you have to open it up? You can. Oh, there's holes right here. See by Olivia's. Yeah, but how do you know it's gonna get there? Like even this one, like how? Oh. Does I this one doesn't matter as long as it's on the bottom. There's no yeah, fan or anything. Not, there's stuff on the bottom. There's all of that one. Alright, so just put it back on. And just put it back on. You turn it on. Oh, there's a cord of it. The humidity will go up in a minute. We had it all set up and we got the day counter, day zero. That's letting you know when the egg turner will turn. Another hour and 59 minutes. That's temperature and then humidity level. It was gonna take a little bit to come back up because we had the cover off. You wanna go outside and see the ducks? Yeah! The baby ducks? Yeah, I think they're outside the bed. I'm not gonna go out with one for two Yeah, I see Oh, those might be trees now. What? They look like baby ducks! What might they be though? Oh, I see the mama duck right over here. Yeah, the fence is on. Yeah, they're all under the mama duck. See how mad she's getting? I bet you she's sitting on them. Yep, yes there is. <laughs> Told you they were under her. I don't believe that they were fitting on her. Yeah, there's only two of them, and I thought you found another seven. There has been. Where's the seventh duck? I'll have to look for it. Have the new basket. Thank you. There you go, here's your little basket. <laughs> They're already enjoying some nice fresh grass. I don't know. Hawk might have came down and ate one or maybe it's hiding somewhere else. <laughs> Mr. Biggs. Oh, we'll show you the piggies before we go in the house. They've only been in here for two days, not even. And look how much they've cleared that area. This to that. Do you want to say hello? You want to get out. Tomorrow we'll let you out when it's not raining out.
Good. How she look with her egg basket? She wants to know. Hmm. Well, today's kind of been a weird day on the homestead. Hope the little duckling that we brought in the house, she didn't make it, unfortunately. We got a bunch of cool things in the mail. You guys saw that. The egg basket's working out great. It looks like we're missing another duckling. There's no signs of it. I don't know what happened, if some hawk came down and got it throughout the day or not. Or maybe it's just hiding somewhere. We'll keep our fingers crossed, right? Mm -hmm. So, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, Make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps. And we just hit 7,500 subscribers. We wanted to thank you guys for that and say hello to all the new subscribers. Woo woo! And if you haven't already checked us out, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Lumna Acres, and we're posting on there daily too. So we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Yeah. Bye.